Hey guys, welcome back to Kara's Cakes. Today I'm going to show you how to make Disney Parks churros. Disney Parks recently released the recipe for these churro bites and I'm going to try them out for you. The tools that you're going to need are two saucepans, a couple of bowls, paper towel, wooden spoon, spatula, slotted spoon, knife, star tip, and a piping bag. You can also use a KitchenAid mixer or hand mixer. The ingredients you will need are 1 cup of water, 8 tablespoons of butter, a quarter teaspoon of salt, 3 quarters teaspoons of cinnamon divided, 1 and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, 3 eggs, 1 and a half cups of vegetable oil, and half a cup of sugar. First, you're going to combine the water, butter, salt, and quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in the saucepan over medium heat and bring the pot to a rolling boil. Reduce heat to low. Next, you're going to add in the flour and you're going to mix that vigorously until the mixture forms a dough-like ball. Once you form the ball, remove the dough from the heat and let rest for 5-7 to seven minutes. The recipe states to add the three eggs one at a time and mixing in between each egg until incorporated. It didn't mix in very well, so I ended up taking it over to the KitchenAid mixer. It was easier in the mixer, so if you have a KitchenAid mixer or a hand mixer, I'd um, suggest pulling that out. If not, you could do it by hand, it just will take a little bit of time. And as you can see, the eggs incorporate a lot better in the mixer. You just don't want to over mix, just mix until the eggs are incorporated. I'm going to add my dough mixture into a piping bag with a large star tip and I'm just going to set that aside ready for the oil. I took the one and a half cups of oil, put it into the pot and then I'm going to turn that on to medium heat until it reaches 350 degrees. Once the oil reaches 350 degrees, take your piping bag of dough and squeeze little dollops into the hot oil. Use the slotted spoon to turn the churros over in the oil until they're golden brown. You're going to scoop the churros out of the pot with the slotted spoon and let them rest in a bowl lined with paper towel for a few minutes. The last step is rolling the hot churros in cinnamon sugar. If you were in the Disney parks, they would have chocolate dipping sauce to go along with these, so you could always melt some chocolate to have with them. These churro bites were so simple to make. If you do make these, post a picture on Instagram and tag me at Kara Bakes Cakes. These churro bites actually tasted just like the churros in Disney. If you like this video, scroll down and hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. 